For me, there's nothing better than putting my money to work on my behalf and earn more money in the process. And I do that by investing into stocks, ETFs, real estate, and various other asset classes. But despite all the investments, one thing we can't live without is good old cash, right? We need cash for daily transactions, for some emergencies. And I always remind people, have an emergency fund in place of three to six months of your monthly living expenses to make sure you're liquid and you don't have to sell any of your investments. But the problem is cash loses money to inflation, right? If it just sits in your traditional bank account, you will basically get nothing out of it and it will actually become less valuable over time. So it's very important to put your cash to good use and make sure you get some nice juicy interest from it in the process. And that's why in this video, I wanna share with you one of my favorite tool and platforms that I use to invest, but also to put my money and cash to good use and work for me. And it's a platform called Lightyear. I've done a number of videos on them before. It's an amazing tool. I love the interface, arguably the nicest interface of all the various brokers. And if you've been watching my channel, I reviewed a lot of brokers and use different ones myself. But in terms of interface, it's honestly, you know, in its own league, it's super simple to use, especially for beginners. When you buy your shares, you only pay one euro commission. And even better, if you buy ETFs, which is something I do myself mostly, then you pay zero commission. So absolutely a no brainer, amazing broker. And as I said, now they made some great new additions. I want to show you how you can put your cash to work using Lightyear. Before we jump onto my phone and I'll show you how it actually works in the app, let me give you a quick tour on the new website, which is really nice and makes it so easy to understand what they're actually offering. Obviously, you can see it front and center the new rates that they're offering. And I'll show you in a second. Obviously, different currencies have different rates. But once again, what I love about Lightyear, it's so transparent and so easy to see and know what you're getting, what you're paying. And I just love it. So right now, you can see over here what you can get in dollars. You can earn up to 5.37% annual percentage yield. That means if you leave it there for a whole year, that's obviously already taking compound interest into account. Account. But yeah, you can also change the currency. If, for example, you want to invest your pounds, you'll be earning up to 5.19% APY. So also really attractive. And of course, euro, because the interest rates in Europe are generally a little bit lower than our friends in the US or in the UK. So you can see you still get an amazing 3.83% APY, which is much more than it previously was at 3.25%, but it's slightly different product. I'll come to this later on. That way you can maximize your returns. And once again, you're not just investing into something random, you will be basically investing into a wrapped money market fund. I know it sounds a little bit complicated, but don't be scared. It's actually very straightforward. Most of the brokers and apps out there that are paying you a high interest are actually using money market funds. And the great thing is they're obviously following the European Central Bank for that as a benchmark. And the money that you keep in your savings vault in Lightyear will actually be managed by BlackRock, which is the world's largest asset manager with over $10 trillion under management globally. So they probably know what they're doing and is really a trusted player that you can you know, feel comfortable with keeping your money there. And the great thing is they don't have any minimums or maximums. And that's really attractive as well because some other players out there, for example, Trade Republic, they actually do pay a nice interest. However, only up to 50,000 euros. Now I understand 50,000 can seem like a lot, but who knows, right? Maybe you're saving up to buy a new car or for your mortgage down payment and you might have more than that. So why waste some of the money that doesn't accumulate interest? Here, there is no maximum. If you want to park 100,000 euros over there, you absolutely can. And that's really the beauty of it as well. And I really like how simply they show you how much you could potentially be earning, right? Because sometimes we hear these numbers and percentages, but we don't really, you know, can't imagine how much I could get out of this. So for example, if you invest over here, let's say you put uh, 10,000 euros over there, in a year you'll be earning 382 euros in interest and per month that will come out to around 31, close to 32 euros per month, just simply by parking money there. Now, obviously the more money you put, let's say you really go all the way to 50K, right? In a month that will be almost 160 euros and in a year, almost 2,000, 1,912 euros. So, you know, you start seeing really significant amounts over there. And of course, as I said, if you want to have it in a different currency, and some people have actually been asking me, does it make sense to switch the currency? And of course, you know, not all the currencies are supported for all countries right now in Lightyear. So it depends where you're residing. Some countries, they don't allow all the three currencies at this stage that might be added later on. So some countries, you might only be able to invest in the saving vault in your local native currency. But yeah, in case you have the ability to park some dollars over there, Imagine the same $50,000 we've shown you before, that would be $2,680 or in a month, $223 simply by keeping your cash over there, right? And honestly, that's so nice because once again, I'm always a big fan of having an emergency fund. And if my emergency fund makes money for me, 
well, that's best of both worlds, right? And once again, they really highlight that obviously this is not just interest that the bank is paying, but yes, they are technically investing the money on your behalf, but in a money market fund. And honestly, I know that sounds technical and a little bit overwhelming, but rest assured, as you can see over here, the risk level over here is one out of seven. That's extremely safe, extremely liquid, and most big pension funds and other you know, big institutions are parking some of their money over there because it's very liquid. You can move in and out of these positions. You can see the fund size right now is $70 billion. So rest assured, there's a lot of other people investing their money there. So it's not just some high risk stake that you're taking on that Lightyear came up with, their own invention. No, this is really solid, really trustworthy. The fund rating is triple A's, the highest investment grade once again through BlackRock. So I think you're going to be really in good hands there. And I'll definitely going to be parking my money there. And what I love about it, the interest is actually earned daily. So every day actually accruing interest and then it's actually paid out the following month on a monthly basis. And it's just so easy, right? And it's so nice. Whenever I get a notification on my phone, you've received interest. It's just such a joy and pleasure. As I mentioned, it is available in three different currencies right now. Again, depending on which country you're living in. And the great thing is also no lockup because that's for me so important, the flexibility, right? The beauty of investing, for example, in S&P 500, that's a long-term investing, which I invest and I don't want to touch it, right? I want to really let it compound over time. And if I needed the money, I could technically sell it, right? But you never know, right? Maybe the market is in a downturn and maybe the S&P 500 dropped 20%, who knows, right? If I then had to sell to have the money and use it for emergency, it would really be painful and I lost technically some money on that. Here, it only gets more through the interest. And the beauty of that is I can withdraw it anytime. It doesn't matter. And I can get it paid out right then, right there. And that's just so nice to be fully flexible and have that liquidity available to me whenever I need it. Because my traditional bank account, they offered me also, I believe, 3% interest, but they asked me to lock it up for one year. I mean, it's unbelievable. I don't want to lock up my money in one year. I don't know what's happening in six months, right? So I want to be flexible. That's what I like about Lighty as well. And of course, they have some amazing protection and regulation as well. In the UK, they're regulated by the FC and in Europe by the EFSA. Honestly, you're going to be in good hands over there. Also, as for government insurance, that's more for investing into stocks and ETFs. But for your US securities, you're going to be protected by the SIPC up to $500,000. So that's quite an amount to reach. And within the EU, EU investors will be protected and insured up to 20,000 across their portfolio, which of course is also really reassuring to hear. All right, with this, let's hop into my phone and I'll give you a rundown on the app. And if you don't have a Lightyear account yet, then use my link down in the description below and use the code KAI10 when you register your account and you'll get $10 worth of free shares to get it started. So of course, always remember investing involves risk, right? The value of investment can either go up or down. Right, but back into the app, let's go over here. We now in the dashboard, so to say, where you see all your portfolio overall, your cash, your savings, which right now I haven't enabled, but I'll show you how easy it is. And of course, your investments as well. Most of you by default will have cash sitting in your interest account, right? That's the interest I got, the lifetime interest. I got 648 euros, really quite nice. But you can see in terms of euros, I'm only getting 3.25% euros. But I showed you before with the new product, I can get actually much more. So I definitely want to take advantage of that. So let's go out of this and then click into savings. You can see the 3.83 over here. Again, depending on your currency, it might be more of its US dollars or pounds. But yeah, that will obviously be depending on where you are. And of course, also keep in mind right now, not all the countries will have that available. Right. So basically you want to click into savings over here and you see right away what you're going to be getting 3.83 APY instant withdrawals benchmarked against the central bank's variable overnight interest rate. And what you see is what you get after the fees. And I like that they are very transparent about the fees. You will see in a second how much they take, which is actually very little. And once again, I just like the transparency. For me, I always value that. Take a look. Let's go ahead. And then you can see obviously quite a few more details. Uh, once again, instant withdrawal to light year cash. So cash is the one I shown you before, what I have most of my money parked in and that you can withdraw to your own bank account. So that's really easy. The interest once again is earned daily and paid monthly. So it's a small difference between the APY, which is 3.83 and the APR, which is 3.76. So basically if you left it there for the whole year, it will come to 3.83. I like once again, that they make it so transparent and you can always click on the I to get even more information on a specific topic. It is a variable rate calculated daily, no minimums or maximums. I think that's really powerful because yeah, some other banks and brokers out there, they limit you. Either they have a minimum where you have to invest a certain amount and that might not fit beginning investors, right? If you just want to start dabbling around. And I always suggest in the beginning, always put a small amount, see how you like it and let it compound a few days. You start seeing the interest rolling in, get paid in a month. And then you say, mm, actually it's pretty smooth, pretty nice. 
and also try withdrawing. That's another point I would like to remind you because yeah, sometimes you know you put all your money, but then you start seeing challenges withdrawing the money. I've done it with Lightyear many times where I withdrew money and it was blazingly fast. And yeah, I really recommend it. So the more comfortable you get, you can put more money over there. And the great thing is no maximum, as I said, because actually with Trade Republic, which of course I also use, and there are many other good players out there, but now I hit the maximum of 50K over there. So that's the beauty of Lightyear. There wouldn't be any maximum, right? I could have, as I said, 200,000 over there and I would still earn that nice interest from them. So that's really, really good. And of course, held with BlackRock, which is really reassuring. I mean, that's a huge player in the industry. You can see fund details. You can click into that over here, fund highlights. And you can see the risk factor one from seven. So I mean, really, really low risk. I mean, again, anything in life has a certain risk, right? Even central banks failed in some countries. So there's nothing risk-free ever. But if you look on the macro scale, it's one of the lowest risks you can possibly have. They rank the S&P 500 as a six from seven. But yeah, obviously it carries much higher risk than something like an MMF through BlackRock and this particular fund over here. Once again, you can run some numbers, how much you could earn with this. And here they also show very clearly what are the fees involved. BlackRock, of course, you know, it's a money-making institution. So they take a small fee, 0.1% for managing that. And Lightyear also takes a little fee, which again, I like the transparency at 0.15%. They need to make money, right? You have to ask yourself, if you have a broker that charges for nothing and has no fees, well, the question is how sustainable is that, right? That's a company that has to return a profit for investors over time, right? So I think it's really reasonable and and yeah, I like it. And I like how transparent they are about it. So you can see here the final interest you'll be getting as well as a couple of more metrics. And yeah, not too overwhelming while still giving you the confidence and enough information to make a qualified decision to go ahead with it or not, of course, right? I mean, you don't have to, but I strongly recommend to at least check it out. Again, you can always withdraw your money afterwards if you don't like it. Some more information if you want, FAQs. And if you're fine with this, you read through and you feel comfortable, you know, go ahead, confirm and open vault. There's no cost to it, right? It's all free of charge. It's up to you how much you want to spend on it or not. Uh, but you can just play around. As I said, there's no minimums. I mean, obviously, I think one euro minimum, but you know, you can put 10 euros, you can put 100 euros as you wish. So in my example, actually, I want to put all my amounts. I'm going to put add max over here. I want to maximize my money. So moving it from a cash component into my saving vault and then click on confirm over here. And boom, literally as simple as that, add money is complete. It has been moved into my savings account. Click confirm. There you go. Already you can see the transaction that took place. Everything moved from my cash into my savings vault. And yeah, now I start getting a much higher interest than I previously had, which I really appreciate because I love using Lightyear. But yeah, the interest was a little bit on the lower side, but now at 3.83%, really attractive. Again, maybe in the future, they will also enable dollars for me, which would be great because then I might use some of my euros, convert them to dollars and get an even higher interest. But for the time being, the euros I have, I'm really happy keeping it over here in Lightyear. And yeah, from here, I could obviously go ahead and add more money or I could withdraw it back and I would go back into my cash balance. So that's very easy, very simple to do. And yes, just to confirm, when I go back to my dashboard, you see in cash, I still have $12 over here, but my Euro balance is pretty much zero. And that all moved to my savings vault where I now get the higher interest. If already you have some money sitting in Lightyear, honestly, I think it's a no brainer. Definitely take advantage of the high interest rate through the saving vaults. And a couple of other changes that I recently done to the platform and interface and experience overall. In case you didn't know, you could always use the web version, which is really nice. Pretty much the same things you can do on the phone, you can do on the web. But yeah, some people just prefer doing things on the desktop. So you can do the same thing over here, as you can see. And one new addition that they've done, for example, if you click into any of your holdings, you can now change the chart also, because I know a lot of you like candlesticks. You can select that over here in the chart setting candlesticks, and you can see the candlesticks over time, you know, just give you a better indication of how things are going because yeah, not everybody likes a line chart. I prefer a line chart, but if you like candlesticks, you can do that now as well on Lightyear, which is great. And another cool addition in case you want to buy a fractional share, for example, now Apple for $10. In the past, you could change different market types. You can see over here, market order, repeat order, which is really nice to automate your investments, a stop order, of course, and limit order, which a lot of investors like. But previously, you could not do this on fractional shares. Now you can also do a limit order on fractional shares. So you could say, I want to buy, for example, 0.01 share of Apple, you would see here the total. And yeah, honestly, that's really nice because I know a lot of people don't like market orders, they prefer limit orders, but you know, some shares are really expensive, so you don't want to buy a whole share. So you can do now limit orders on fractional shares as well. And in case you didn't know, they have a great fund screener as well. So now they have 183 different ETFs and funds over there that you can go through 
through. They recently added a number of new funds and ETFs. So honestly, most likely the one you're looking for should be able to be located over here. As I said, the great thing is you won't pay any commissions when you buy any of those funds. And that's what I love about it, right? I'm really starting to go back to ETF investing more and more. And you can also see nicely the dividend yield, fund size. So really the most important points that you need in order to make an educated decision as to what you want to invest your money in. Yeah, you can see I'm still scrolling. So plenty of choices over there. Also, they added some cool calculators on the websites. I'll link that in the description down below. You can check it out. But yeah, you can run some numbers in case, you know, save for something specific, right? You have a saving goal of 50,000, for example. You can choose what goal it is, the time of the period, and achieving a goal, saved so far, how much you saved, saving monthly, how much you're adding to it, and the growth rate, right? You can choose that, what you want. But let's say, you know, you take the interest rate for now, the old one, 3.25, but now it's even higher. You'll be able to reach your savings even faster. And yeah, it will calculate how long it will take you to reach that, right? In this case, 15 years and four months with those numbers, right? You can change it. For example, you would save more. Now at 300 euros instead of 200, it will only take you 11 years. So a really beautiful way to kind of visualize and show you how your know, investment decisions help you and reach your goal faster or slower, depending on what it is. But I quite like that, you know, that you're just really becoming a nice go-to platform also more than just a broker, but also give you, you know, information around investing and saving. So that's really cool. And also an inflation calculator for investments and saving, because sometimes we only focus on the gains of our investments, right? We hear the percentage growth, but inflation is a real thing and it really eats into our overall returns. But that's why it's really important to run those numbers. And I was quite surprised, to be honest. You know, for example, you can start with your savings right now. Let's say it's 10,000 euros. For how long, let's say you want to invest for 20 years. That's great. You see over here the inflation versus growth. And here you can select once again what inflation rate you want to use. And they already give you different numbers depending what you're looking at. In February, it was 3.4 in the UK, Eurozone 2.6. So you can choose your own. But let's say the Eurozone at 2.6. Fine, growth rate, what's the expected growth rate of your investments, right? That really depends on you. And again, you can choose from different points. High risk investments, they say 8%, which in my case, you know, equates to the SP 500. I wouldn't really consider it very high risk, but again, it always depends on different people. Uh, some people aim for anything above 15%, which is even hard to do for 15, 20 years consecutively. But let's go with a high one. I'm a big fan of SP 500 investing, and it has returned around 8% over the last 30 years, you know, annualized. And then you'll see over here the actual value after 20 years without making extra contributions, right? You just invest the money once and it will just accumulate and grow over time. So obviously if you add more money into it, it will grow even faster. And yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, the actual value of the portfolio will be actually high at almost 50,000 euros. So that's a nice gain, but the buying power inflation adjusted will only be worth 29,000. So that's the effect of the inflation that it has on your money in the future, which also means if you wouldn't have invested in the first place, it would lose value over time. So if I go back now and have zero growth rate, basically you just leave your money under the mattress, you will see your 10,000 euros in 20 years will only be worth in real money less than 6,000 euros. So you're actually losing value. And that just shows you beautifully how important it is to put your money to work and work for you and keep it invested. And that's why I'm using things like Lightyear Savings Vault to make sure I get some nice interest on my cash at least, while the other money I invest in stocks, ETFs, real estate, what have you. But the cash, even if I don't invest my cash and keep it at 0% on my local bank account, it will literally lose money. And you can see in this example, it was 2.6%, right? We've seen times where inflation rate was 6, 7%. So you would lose even more money and just shows you how important it is to stay invested. And lastly, also some good news, they got a new license from the Financial Supervisory Authority, which will allow them very soon to have fractional ETFs as well. Because for now, you have to buy actually full ETFs, but in the future, most likely they will be able to offer fractional ETFs, which is also a great new addition. They keep on innovating and coming up with new features. And I really love that about Lightyear. So if you wanna get started putting your money to work with the new Saving Walls feature, or start investing in stocks or commission-free ETFs through Lightyear, then use my link down in the description below. Use the code KAI10 and you'll get $10 worth of free shares. But of course, as always, keep in mind the risks of investments. Your investments can go up or down. If you do have any more questions, about Lightyear or any of the new features, pop them down in the comments below. I'll get back to every single one of you. Next up, check out the video over here. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.